Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great. I came up with another video as I have received a few questions from a fellow aspirant. Read the following information and answer the question given below. In a sports meet, six different runners from India, A, B, C, D, E and F participate in the race. The following statements are all true about the result of the race. So here, once you understand that this data is about the result of the race, take a brief look at the question. All the following are the possible orders of the racers at the finish line. From the first place to the last place. Except, from the first point of the question, you must understand that there are many possible arrangements for this puzzle. Also, from the second point, you get the order of their positions. First, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Let's go back to the data. There were no ties. It means no two persons crossed the finish line at the same time. A did not finish the last. A did not finish the last. E finished third. Now that I've got a definite position, I'm going to take a brief look at the options and I choose one as my answer because it says E finished fourth which is impossible according to the data. So here you must understand that once you get any definite position throw a glance at the options. You may not need to solve the entire puzzle. Consider the following step process. Here, I don't want to read all these steps. I just want to read the question and go with the flow. If the starting value is 14, then what will be the final result? 14 minus 5, 9, 9 into 6, 54. As 54 is greater than 40, I'm going with the step 5. 54 by 3, that gives me 18. Here are some critical reasoning questions. Answering these questions will entirely depend upon your logical reasoning ability. So I'm not going to give you answers for these questions, but I'll give you a small clue. Here, assumption is something that comes before you make or do something. Example, I have assumed that these questions will be helpful to you all. So I made a video on it. In this example, observe the word so. I repeat, I have assumed that these questions will be helpful to you all, so I made a video on it. Hence, you understand that so comes after an assumption. Try to connect these two assumptions with the statement given above. The first one says, coal engines cause a lot of pollution, so coal engines be replaced by electric engines in trains. This seems fine. India does not produce enough electricity to fulfill even the domestic needs. So coal engines be replaced by electric engines in trains. So guys, do you think does this make any sense? No right? Here options will be like, only assumption 1 follows, only assumption 2 follows, neither of them follows, both of them follow. So pause this video and try to comprehend all these statement and assumption questions. Here I must tell you that in this context Rho means a quarrel or a fight. We had a fight when the bill came or we had a quarrel when the bill came. Here this question is related to statement and conclusion. So conclusion comes after a statement that means a conclusion will be drawn from a statement. Look at this example. It is easy to make out. The statement says Rani is the only daughter of Avni and Mukesh. Which of the following cannot be concluded from the given statement? The first conclusion says Rani doesn't have any siblings. This is wrong because the statement says Rani is the only daughter. There could be a son, 
for Abni and Mukesh. But if this were to be right, the statement must be Rani is the only child of Abni and Mukesh. And the second conclusion is Abni and Mukesh may have a son. This is right because it is a possibility according to the statement. Hence, I choose first option as my answer because the question is which of the following cannot be concluded? The first option cannot be concluded. And try to do this one. This question is related to statement and argument. In an argument, yes and no doesn't matter. For an argument to be true, it must answer the question why and it should be relevant with logical explanation to the statement. Here you can easily make out that the second argument is the strong argument. This is a true or false question. You can easily make out by one reading. Five participants for the group discussion P, Q, R, S and T are sitting in a circle facing center. Five participants. R is between Q and T. As I cannot start question with this, I'll go with the next sentence. S is sitting second to the left of T. T, S. P is sitting between S and T. P. R is between Q and T. Q. R. Who is third to the left of T? Q. Which of the following statements is not correct? Guys, here I underline not because in the exam you forget to notice this and you focus more on correct and go with the right option. But the question is different here. We must choose the option that do not follow according to this arrangement. So S is sitting next to Q. This one is right. R is sitting second to the left of S. This one is right. T is sitting between P and S. This one is wrong. So this is our answer. Third option is our answer. Six persons P, Q, R, S, T and U are traveling to six different nations. India, US, China, Russia, Sri Lanka and England to speak on six different topics economy, IT, politics, natural resources, environment and education but not necessarily in the same order. So guys I am taking the data horizontally as I don't have space here. Try to take the data vertically. It becomes easier for you. So I have six persons. P, Q, R, S, T, U. P speak on politics, but he will not travel to either US or Russia. P speaks on politics, but he will not travel to US, Russia. Q will go to China. But he will not speak on either IT. Q goes to China. He will not speak either on IT. R will speak on education. And he will not go to either Russia or Sri Lanka. You will not speak on either economy or IT. But he will go to England. T will go to India and he will speak on natural resources. 
and natural resources. This is the entire data that is given. So the first question is, R will travel to which nation? So when you observe the data, here there is China, India, England and there are three nations left. Those are Russia, Sri Lanka and USA. As Russia and Sri Lanka doesn't come here, R goes to USA. These are the follow up questions. Who will speak economy? Here when you observe Q and U, Q doesn't speak IT and U also doesn't speak IT. That means S speaks IT and there are two topics left. Those are economy and environment. So as U doesn't speak economy, It speaks environment. And Q speaks economy. So in the second question, who will speak economy? The answer is Q. Which topic will you speak on you speaks on environment so option b is our answer guys here you can fill up the entire data we know that r goes to us and we already know that p doesn't go to russia s goes to russia and p goes to the country that's left here for the time being I'm not writing it because I have to erase and again I have to write it. Try to pause this video and find the logic here. So the logic here is observe the first and third lines in every figure. They are similar and they are parallel to each other except in the fifth figure which is our answer. The following question is based on the five four digit numbers given below. This one is tricky guys. You need not solve the entire question. First let us understand the question. If 120 is added to each of the above numbers after interchanging the first digit with third digit as well as the second digit with fourth digit here after interchanging in the sense first we have to interchange the digits say for example let's take this let's interchange the digits 1 3 5 4 and if 220 is added to each of the above numbers let's add 220 don't add it up just keep it aside so after interchanging the digits how many of them are the multiples of 2 so we know that 2 multiples are all the numbers that ends with a number which is a multiple of 2 to make it more clear a number must end with 2 4 6 8 0 so all the numbers which ends with these numbers are divisible by 2. So when you add 220 to a number, it doesn't make any difference to the last digit. 4 will be 4. So why I told you this question is tricky because when you interchange the digit, the second digit comes to the last. That means if the second digit of any number is divisible by 2 then the entire number is divisible by 2 when we observe these numbers we have 4 in the second digit it is divisible 2 divisible 
7 not divisible, 2 divisible, 5 not divisible. So the answer is 3. Option A. There is no shortcut for this. Try to solve it on your own. Thank you guys. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it to your friends and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.